Have you ever wondered how the intricate dance of life and death unfolds daily in the African wild? Let's take a moment to ponder this captivating spectacle, an unseen battle that plays out under the radiating sun and beneath the cover of darkness. This is the relentless cycle of predator and prey, a vital aspect of nature that often goes unnoticed. In the vast expanse of the African wilderness, each creature, no matter how big or small, plays a crucial role. From the stealthy lion on the prowl to the fleet-footed gazelle, their interactions are more than just bouts of survival. They are the threads that weave the complex tapestry of the ecosystem, maintaining its delicate balance. These predator-prey relationships are not merely about the survival of the fittest, they are a testament to the ebb and flow of life itself a dance choreographed by the laws of nature. Today, we delve into the fascinating and sometimes harsh realities of life in the African wild. As dawn breaks over the African plains, the day's first act begins. The light unveils a stage set for a primal dance of survival, a ballet of life and death that has been performed for countless generations. The predators, those masters of stealth and strategy, awaken from their nocturnal slumber. Lions, hyenas, cheetahs, each with their unique hunting methods, begin their calculated prowl. Meanwhile, the prey, ever vigilant, are not as defenseless as they may seem. Gazelles, zebras, wildebeests, each have their own tricks to avoid becoming a morning meal. Gazelles rely on their speed and agility, zigzagging in unpredictable patterns. Zebras use their stripes to create a confusing optical illusion in a running herd. Wildebeests, though not as swift, rely on their sheer numbers and the strength of the herd for protection. Each dawn in the wild is a new beginning, a fresh chance to survive. The sun rises and the game of survival continues. As the sun climbs to its zenith, the dynamics of the hunt change. In the heart of the African savanna, the midday heat is not a mere inconvenience. It is a formidable player in the game of survival. The scorching sun overhead casts a merciless light, and the heat, intense and omnipresent, becomes a crucible that tests the mettle of every creature. Predators and prey alike must adapt to these harsh conditions. Lions, the apex predators, are aware that exertion in this heat is a gamble. They conserve their energy, preferring to lounge in the shade of an acacia tree, their panting the only sign of their discomfort. For them, the heat of the day is a time to rest, to bide their time until the coolness of the evening brings relief and opportunities. For the prey animals, however, the midday sun brings a different kind of strategy. The heat, while uncomfortable, provides a kind of safety. Gazelles and antelopes, knowing the lions are less likely to strike, venture out in the open to graze and drink. They are vigilant, yes, but the heat of the day offers a respite from the relentless fear of being hunted. Hyenas, those cunning scavengers, have their own approach. They are more active in the heat, taking advantage of the lion's lethargy. They scavenge the leftovers of previous hunts, their laughter echoing across the plains, a stark reminder of the harshness of this world. Yet even in this extreme heat, the dance of predator and prey continues. A careless antelope may still fall victim to a desperate lioness. A brave hyena might risk a confrontation with a lion over the remains of a kill. The heat of the hunt, it seems, never truly subsides. And so, under the unyielding African sun, each creature finds its way, adapting and surviving, playing its part in the grand theater of life. As the sun begins its descent, the dynamics shift once more. As dusk falls, the stage is set for the day's final showdown. In the fading light, Africa's wilderness is a theatre of the unseen, a dance between life and death. As the day's heat retreats, predators and prey alike are stirred into heightened activity. The twilight hour is a time of urgency, a time of survival. The setting sun casts long shadows, a veil of semi-darkness that cloaks the wilderness. It is within this twilight world that the drama of the African wild unfolds. The last vibrant hues of the day bleed into the horizon, a backdrop against which the final act of the day's hunt is played out. The prey, weary from the day's trials, make their last-ditch efforts to evade the looming threat. Their senses sharpened. Every rustle, every snap of a twig is a potential herald of danger. There is a heightened sense of alertness, 
a palpable tension that permeates the air. Their survival hangs in the balance, hinged on their ability to outsmart, outmaneuver and outrun their predators. The predators, on the other hand, are driven by a primal instinct, a raw determination to secure their dinner. Their eyes, adapted to the dim light, scan the landscape for any sign of movement. Their bodies are taut, coiled springs ready to explode into action at a moment's notice. This is their time, the hour when their prowess as hunters is put to the ultimate test. As the moon begins to rise, casting an ethereal glow over the landscape, the final stand plays out. It is a dance of death and survival, a testament to the brutal yet beautiful reality of nature. The predators and the prey, locked in this eternal struggle, are but players in this grand spectacle that is the African wild. And so, under the cloak of night, with the echoes of the day's events still ringing in the air, the curtain falls on another day in the African wild. The stage is set for the dawn of a new day, a new act in this never-ending drama of survival. When the African wild is cloaked in the darkness of night, a different set of rules apply. In this nocturnal theatre, the curtain of darkness lifts to reveal a world where sight is no longer the king of senses. Here, survival hinges on the ability to adapt to the unseen danger lurking in the shadows. Predators and prey alike have evolved remarkable adaptations to navigate this world shrouded in the mystery of night. Take the lion, for instance. The king of the jungle is not just a daytime ruler. His reign extends into the night thanks to the tapetum lucidum, a layer of cells in his eyes that reflects light back through the retina, significantly improving night vision. His acute hearing, too, plays a critical role in pinpointing the faintest rustle of a potential meal in the pitch black. But the prey is not entirely defenseless. The Impala, for example, have their own set of survival strategies. They employ a keen sense of hearing, using the slightest sound to detect the presence of a predator. Their strong sense of smell is another crucial tool, helping them sniff out lurking danger. And when all else fails, the herd provides safety in numbers. Then there's the lesser-known African civet, a nocturnal predator with an exceptional sense of smell. This little-known creature uses its olfactory prowess to track down prey, even under the cover of complete darkness. The star-nosed mole, though not a native of Africa, deserves a mention for its extraordinary adaptation. Its tentacle-like nose bristles with over 20,000 sensory receptors, making it one of the most touch-sensitive creatures on Earth. The nocturnal game of survival is a fascinating showcase of nature's ingenuity. It's a world where silence is a language, darkness a veil, and every sense a weapon. It's a world where the unseen is more dangerous than the seen, and survival is a game of sensory mastery. As the night gives way to another day, the cycle begins anew. From dawn to dusk and into the darkness of night, the dance of predator and prey shapes the African wild. The African wilderness is a stage, and on this stage a grand spectacle is constantly unfolding. A spectacle where the roles are clear, the stakes are high and the outcome is uncertain. This spectacle, the eternal dance of predator and prey, is not just a battle for survival, but also a testament to the intricate balance of nature. Throughout our journey, we've witnessed the unseen battles, the new beginnings, the heat of the hunt, the final stands and the unseen dangers. Each scene playing out in its own unique way, yet all of them interconnected in the grand scheme of life. Predators, with their keen senses and masterful strategies, are the vigilant guardians of this balance. Their very existence ensures that no species outnumbers the rest. They keep the populations of their prey in check, preventing overgrazing and ensuring the health of the grasslands. The prey, on the other hand, are not just victims, but crucial players in this dance. They are the ones who seed and fertilize the land, shaping the landscape and making it habitable for other species. Their flight and fight for survival is what drives evolution, leading to an incredible diversity of life forms. But this dance is not just about life and death, it's about the continuity of life, the passing of genetic material from one generation to the next. It's about the exchange of energy, as the life force of the prey is transferred to the predator and then back to the earth, nourishing the soil and the plants and starting the cycle anew. 
The predator-prey relationship is a delicate balance, a complex web of interactions where each thread is crucial for the integrity of the whole. It's a testament to the resilience of life, to its ability to adapt and thrive under the harshest conditions. And so the dance continues as the African wild wakes up to another day of survival.